Holly's Air Adventure. Chapter 1 The Map and the Mission Polly, a vibrant parrot with feathers as colorful as a painter's palette, had always felt the sky calling to him, a realm where his colors could blend with the infinite blue and the radiant sunsets. This call had transformed into an insatiable quest for adventure, for beyond the familiar canopy of green, he dreamed of exploring the vast, unknown world. It was on a dew-kissed morning, while the forest still slumbered under the soft embrace of fog, that Polly discovered the ancient map. Hidden beneath a tangle of roots and covered in a fine layer of earth, the map seemed to pulse with a life of its own, its edges curled like leaves, and its lines weaving the promise of adventure and mystery. The map spoke of a lost island, a place where the sun kissed the earth with a love so deep it buried its treasures beneath the sands, treasures forgotten by time but not by legend. The very idea set Polly's heart aflame with a desire not just to find this island but to conquer the skies on his way there. Knowing he couldn't embark on such a quest alone, he turned to gears, a hamster whose reputation for ingenious contraptions and fearless heart made him the perfect companion for such an audacious adventure. Together, they pooled their skills and resources, crafting an airplane from the gifts of the forest, leaves that had danced with the wind, twigs that had borne the weight of the world, and vines that had stretched towards the heavens. This plane, a testament to their friendship and shared dreams, was ready to carry them beyond the horizon. With the map as their guide and their spirits as high as the sky they aimed to conquer, Polly and Gears stood at the precipice of discovery, ready to unfold the wings of their greatest adventure yet. Chapter 2 The Flight Begins the sun, perched high in the azure expanse, served as the maiden audience to the inaugural flight of Polly and Gear's crafted airplane. With the map securely tucked under Polly's wing and Gear's positioned with an air of solemn determination at the controls, the duo took a moment to appreciate the gravity of their undertaking. This was more than a flight. It was the embodiment of their dreams taking wing, a leap into the vast embrace of the unknown. With a deep breath that seemed to draw in the very essence of the adventure that lay ahead, they launched from the cliff's edge, the ground falling away as the wind claimed them, their craft a speck against the vast canvas of the sky. The initial euphoria of flight was met with the immediate challenge of navigating through the dense canopy of the forest, a test of their resolve and a thrilling dance with danger. The leaves whispered encouragements as they brushed past, and the birds, initially startled, soon joined in their laughter, forming an impromptu escort through the treetops. Every gust of wind was a push further into the unknown, every thermal and uplifting embrace, propelling them higher and further than they had ever been. As they soared above the forest, the landscape unfolded below them like a living map. Rivers gleamed like silver threads, mountains rose like guardians of the earth and the sea beckoned in the distance with the promise of mysteries yet to be discovered. However, their journey was far from a tranquil cruise through the skies. Turbulence shook their fragile aircraft, demanding every ounce of skill and courage they possessed. Unexpected updrafts and sudden downdrafts became the rhythm of their voyage, a tumultuous symphony that tested their mettle and their bond. Yet, through every trial, their laughter rang clear, a defiant melody against the roar of the wind. 
Each challenge, each moment of fear, was met with an unbreakable spirit, the joy of pursuit outweighing the peril. This initial leg of their journey was more than a mere traversal of distance, it was a testament to their friendship, a forging of trust in the face of adversity, and an affirmation of their quest for the island that awaited them, shrouded in mystery and promise. Chapter 3 Challenges in the Clouds As Polly and Gears pushed onward, the whimsical charm of their flight gave way to the daunting vastness of the open sky. The sun dipped lower, casting a golden sheen over everything, and what was once an exhilarating adventure now tested their resolve. The sky, an endless ocean above, began to darken with the threat of a storm. Swirling clouds amassed on the horizon like an army of specters, and the first rumble of thunder rolled across the heavens, a prelude to the tempest that awaited them. Within moments, the world transformed. Lightning forked through the darkening sky, a dazzling display of nature's power and thunder boomed like the drums of giants, shaking the very air around them. Rain pelted down, each drop a hammer against the fragile craft made of leaves and twigs. Polly, with his feathers slicked against his body, navigated through the tumult, his eyes sharp and focused. Beside him, Gears, though small, was a titan in courage, his paws steady on the makeshift controls, his spirit undeterred. The storm was a beast of wind and water, tossing their tiny airplane as if it were nothing more than a leaf caught in a whirlwind. Yet, amidst the chaos, a bond of unspoken trust and determination grew. Polly's keen vision and Gear's inventive ingenuity worked in perfect harmony guiding their craft through the tumultuous dance of the storm. They maneuvered with a grace born of necessity, dodging gusts of wind that sought to cast them down and navigating through lightning that threatened to end their quest prematurely. It was in these moments of dire peril that their adventure took on a new depth. The storm, with all its fury, became not just an obstacle to overcome but a testament to their resilience. They were not merely passengers on this journey but warriors against the tempest, each lightning bolt a challenge met, each clap of thunder a battle cry. As they finally emerged from the storm's grasp, the clearing skies ahead were not just a sign of respite but a symbol of their indomitable will. The lost island awaited them, but already, they had discovered the true treasure within, their unwavering courage and the unbreakable bond of friendship that no storm could diminish. Chapter 4 The Treasure of the Lost Island As dawn broke, painting the sky in hues of orange and pink, Polly and Gears plain, battered but unbowed, touched down on the sandy shores of the elusive island. Their hearts beat in unison with the breaking waves, a symphony of anticipation for the discoveries that lay ahead. Stepping onto the island, they were greeted by an untouched paradise, a world apart from any they had known. The island was a tapestry of life, vibrant and pulsing with the secrets of ages. The map, now more a cherished companion than a mere guide, led them through a labyrinth of lush foliage, past waterfalls that whispered ancient melodies, and into the heart of the island where the true adventure awaited. The terrain shifted under their feet, from soft sands to the cool embrace of shadowed caves, each step a further plunge into the mystery. It was within the deepest cavern, illuminated by the ethereal glow of luminescent fungi, that they found it, 
not a chest of gold or jewels, but something far more precious. Rows upon rows of ancient scrolls and books, a treasure trove of knowledge lost to time, awaited their eager hands. Each scroll unfurled tales of civilizations forgotten, of wisdom that transcended ages, a testament to the thirst for discovery that had driven them across the skies. In this moment, amidst the quiet whispers of the past, Polly and Gears understood that their journey had never been about the riches that lay buried or the fame that might follow their return. The true treasure was the journey itself, the bonds forged in the face of adversity, and the knowledge that the horizon will always hold new mysteries to explore. With their plane laden not with gold but with the priceless wealth of forgotten lore, they turned their gaze homeward, knowing that the adventure was far from over. The island had given them a gift more enduring than any material wealth, the realization that the greatest discoveries lie not beneath the soil, but within the depths of one's own courage and the companionship of a true friend. Let your dreams be touched by the adventures in the unknown, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.